Good afternoon. Happy Wednesday. Although it's not a really happy Wednesday. It's very dull, very dreary and it's raining. Oh, it's been a day of days really today. Um, they're still working outside the house on the gas main. And then I get a phone call telling me that they were going to turn the water off. Run some water. Goes to the tap to run some water. Oops, they told me a bit too late. The water was already off. Fortunately, I had bottled water, so I was able to make myself a coffee. Although it's actually gone a bit cold now, but at least I made myself a coffee. Cheers, happy Wednesday. Uh, I've more or less finished the unicorn blanket. I've still got to make the motif. Uh, and so all the ends in, of course. I've made the little hat, but I'll show you that at a different time. And I've actually started a little scarf. So I will show you that another time. What I will show you is I just had a load of parcels. Woo! Delivered. Yeah. This one is from an online shop. It's in the UK. It's called Everything of Fibre. Everything. It isn't really because you've got to pay the postage, haven't you? So everything really isn't a fibre by the time you've paid the postage. But that is another thing because you have to pay postage on everything you buy. It's nothing exciting, it's just some basics, you know, for the winter. Oh, it's just, oh, basic sweaters they are. Sorry about all the cream cream. Should have opened them before, shouldn't I? Um, they're just basic, basic sweaters. You know that you can put under things um, to keep me, you know, a layer to keep me warm in the winter. That's the cream one. And I think I ordered, well, I know I ordered a black one. I don't know whether this is the same style or not. Uh, oh no, the black one's got a polo neck. Black one. Part of the M&S collection at £17.50. Can you see it? And I got it for a fiver. Oh, feels lovely. Gorgeous material. Uh, I don't know what it's made out of. M&S collection. Wow. £17.50. Stay soft. Longer lasting softness. Oh, I really do like that. It feels so soft and gorgeous. So I've got a, well, a sort of an orangey red one. But this is the same as the first one I showed you. This is uh, like sideways kind of fighting material. So this will be a crew neck, won't it? Oops. But the black polo neck is, oh no, this is a, this is a polo neck too. Polo necks are so useful for going underneath my plain dresses that have a low scoop neckline because in the winter I just feel the cold round my neck. I'm just hoping I can wear the polo but it is lovely and soft. I have a problem wearing, you know, like the, uh, the cowls and things if they're a bit itchy or a bit fluffy, I can't wear them. Then we've got a box here, which I think is from Treasure Island Sweeties. Not much to do with crocheting so far, but bear with me. There will be sort of crochet news at the, end, left, at the end. Can't say my words today. That's because I'm thinking of what's in here. And, oh, it's well packaged. It's got paper in it and everything. It is Treasure Island Sweets. If you're in the UK, they sell, um, you know, retro sweets. That's who they call Treasure Island sweets. They're all retro sweets, as you remember when you was a kid, if you're my age. Um, <laughs> Kelly will love these. I got her some more licorice worlds. You 
watching Kelly. Got you a bag of licorice pearls. Sadly, I won't be seeing um, Kelly on Friday like we planned. Um, Gigi's daddy came last night to pick up Gigi and he was absolutely full of a cold. He didn't look well at all. So, of course, this morning he didn't, Gigi didn't arrive because his daddy was in bed poorly. So he's asked me would I have him on Friday instead. So oh, that's, the, that's the, the bag of licorice wheels for me. What to tell him, one for me. Be fair about these things, don't they? So he's coming on Friday now instead, which was the day I'd planned to go to see Kelly. So sadly, no Kelly this week. Um, oh, these are, what are these? Licorice gums. They're like hard licorice in a little tablet -y gum form. I should say that these are all like natural ingredients. Um, so, you know, like they used to be made before they put colourants and additives and God knows what else into sweeties. Uh, what else have I got in here? I've got a bag of Oh, Uncle Joe's Mint Bowls. You may not get these in um, the US, but they're very strong and, you know, they used to give them to us to have when we were um, young, when you had a sofa or something. And they're really, you know, sometimes you'd get a bit in the middle that had a bit of, like, liquid, you know, that hadn't incorporated into the sweet. And it was, like, menthol going up your nose. It was like... <gasps> And you go, oh, that was good, I enjoyed that. Um, this is my licorice sticks. That's licorice in a hard stick form. I'm not going to take them out of the bags, because once they get out of the bags, they go sticky. So until I want to eat them, I'm not opening the bag. Uh, two more. What have I got in here? Oh, these are... Chocolate raisins or whatever you call them in America. We call them raisins. I think you call them different names. They're not sultanas. They're not big enough for sultanas. But they're raisins. Chocolate raisins. Hmm. Yes, I know I'm diabetic and I do sparingly eat them. And I also share them. And then the last one is spearmint chews. It's white spearmint in a chew. It's not like chewing gum, it's just a toffee. That's a chewy a spearmint chew. Ooh, wrong way. Spearmint chew. So that's that in my little box. And then we've got a big box. Exciting. They didn't tell me it was coming until today. Um, I thought, well, it won't come today because they've only told me it's on its way today. But no, I got a little email saying, with a photograph saying, it has been delivered in your porch. And I'm like, oh, because I'd come in here to have my lunch. Right, let me get rid of my coffee. Let me get the trusty scissors out. Hee hee hee, how lovely. I've just been watching Z. Unpacking a gorgeous, gorgeous yarn order that she got for her birthday off a, a subscriber. I was sad really that I couldn't send her anything. Can't send anybody anything really at the moment. The postage just is too much for me. You know, in America, just too much. Unless people have bought something, you know, from the shop and they've paid the postage. For me to send it, I can't just afford to send a gift because it's it's not the gift. I would willingly send a gift. It's the damn postage. Oh dear. Well, let me open the last bit. There we go. Well, Poppy's gone home this morning. Um, she was here yesterday because it was bonfire night. And for those of you in the US who don't understand bonfire night, we're celebrating. The fact that Guy Fox tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament, so I'm sure if you Google it you'll know why. But over here they celebrate it with bonfires and loads of fireworks that make lots and lots of noise. 
and my son was going out last night so he left Poppy with me and picked her up today. But we had quite a good day actually because it, it wasn't as bad as when it was when I was doing the live. Because I could spend more time with her, you know, because I was watching, I turned the TV up a bit louder than I would normally put it. And every time we did, you know, did a loud bang, we did all the fussy fussy and belly rubs and everything like that. And she was absolutely fine. Although she must have been a little anxious because she slept on my bedroom floor, which she doesn't normally do. She normally stays downstairs. Right, let's have a little look in my little bag. Well, I've got that in a bag, so I'll open that later. Because I did order a mystery package, so... That's probably what that is. Right, this was really reduced. It says it's £1.50, but I think it was about 49 pence or something. It's chenille. They only had this colour and a limey green. But this is brilliant. You know, when I do the textured shawls and the textured neck warmers and that, this is brilliant to add a little different texture to it. So I've got four of those. I'm sure they were 50p. Let me have a look what it tells me. No, it doesn't. It doesn't tell me a thing. Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, there's another one in here. It doesn't tell me. Uh, Winter Hippie. Mystery Parcel. That's that. Which I'm not opening it yet. Panda Soft Chenille. Yeah, oh, six balls and it cost me three pounds. So there must be another... Well, there are two somewhere in there. The six, so it's supposed to be six balls of that. Right. This is Na Nagara. Oh, I can't spell that. Nagano. Nagano. It's like a, a grey random. It's very, very similar actually to. Um, the ice yarn, but it's a bit thicker. This looks more like an Aran. Let me see what it says here. Um, oh, it calls it Winter Swirls, grey and white. I got six balls. And before, I mean, we've, got, we've not added postage on here. It cost me £11.70 for six balls. So that's not bad, is it? Um, obviously, there's uh, postage to be added on, which isn't cheap, but Sadly, even from the UK to, in the UK to the UK, still not cheap. That's what it's like. I'll probably use this to make maybe another of the, um, you know, the shrug things that I made out of a big granny square. Probably use it for that, or I may use it for some other kind of a cardigan. This is not for me, ben, by the way, any of this. This is not for me. And then this I couldn't resist because it reminded me so much of the ice yarn that I made a shawl of one time and it was beautiful it hit the shop and went out again it bounced out because <laughs> it was so lovely so I don't know what I'm going to make with this one but this one is called again the mangala there's no colour right no anything and six balls of this was again £11.70 before the postage went on it isn't it gorgeous? Look at those brilliant colours. Very much like the American yarn or like a, an ice yarn colours. Very, very pretty. It's pretty. Then I got... Oh, Stylecraft Special. I didn't know I'd ordered this one. What's this one? Uh, oh, it's supposed to be... Oh, Marble Madness, Madness, but the Packer's Choice. It cost £3 without the postage, but I must admit I'm not that thrilled. There were some lovely colours on it, and what did they pick me? They picked me grey. Stylecraft Special. Hmm. Not thrilled. <laughs> that might be a Kelly. Kelly loves work, working with things like greys and stuff. It might be alright if it went in with something else, but... But I'm just being me, aren't I? I'm being picky and I'm being me. And I have to stop doing this. I have to stop just picking colours because I like them. I've got to remember that all the people in the world like different colours. Right, now this one, this last packet that I didn't open, is called A Mystery Parcel. 
and it cost me £7.50 without the postage. I should have say that the postage cost me £6.50 for all of the box, so I'd have to divide it up once per ball to find out exactly how much each ball cost me, because that's what I do with the ice orders. People go, oh, isn't the shipping expensive on ice orders? Yes, it is, but you have to bear in mind how much would you pay for that yarn if you were buying it in a shop. Another bear in mind is we don't have 50% off coupons. We don't have this, oh, go on one day, you get one half price and all that. We don't have any of that in this country. We don't have big box stores. We don't have anything. We have online shopping, which again, you have to wait while there's a sale. There's none of this, you know, here's a coupon in the post, 50% off all that you're buying. No, none of that. So we have to wait for bargains. So this is going to be as much a mystery to me as it is to you. So it cost me £7.50 for this bag, plus whatever the percentage of the postage was. So we'll have a little look if they've done me proud or it's like, uh-uh. I had one one time and it was, oh, fabulous. Everything was usable. And then the next one they sent me, it was all horrible. As I say, it's the look of the draw. So, do I feel lucky today? Do I feel lucky? We shall have a look. Oh, oh, that one's quite nice. That's Ilo. It's sort of, I think it's a beige shade with brown in it. I think. No, there's not two of those. There's one of those which is a hundred gram I think. 30% wool, 70% acrylic. It's another one that doesn't tell you the yardage. No, no, no sign of any yardage on it. So that's what that one is. This one is a rebald ball or whatever. So I have no idea what it is. It looks kind of like a, an Aran thickness. Probably be suitable for going in with something else or going in a hat. This one is Vogue with Love and it feels like four ply. So no doubt this will be heading Kelly's way. It's a navy blue four ply. He says it's a hundred grams but it feels awful small. But that's I think I've got two I've got two. So they'll be heading Kelly's way. Because as you know she does socks and I don't. Uh, Vogue with Love. This one's acrylic and wool. A hundred grams. This one looks a bit thicker. It looks like it's very thick for So it doesn't look too bad, that one. What else have I got in here? Ooh, that looks interesting. That's really chunky. Feels a little bit rustic, though. I think it must be wool. Um... Uh, Doesn't say. Doesn't say what it's made out of. It's guess. It's a hundred grams, and I think it's got wool in it because it feels that way. It feels very rustic. Make a nice hat. Oh, this is beautifully soft. Beautifully soft. This is Ilo print. Again, it's uh, oh, it's a hundred percent acrylic. And it does say the meterage on this one. It says 250 metres, which is 100 grams, and it's from Turkey. And that's a nice pastel shade. That would make a very sort of small shoulder shawl, probably, or something like that. That's quite pretty. I'm still delving in. Ooh, this is unusual. Mohair, is it? It's acrylic and wool. But it's got that fluff on it, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's um, it's quite sturdy, actually. It looks like an iron thickness. It's Vogue. Ooh, I keep going the wrong way. Like a maroony shade. Very, very soft, though. It's not like tickly mohair or anything like that. Right, we're getting down to the last three now. 
Oh, this is nice. Oh, you'll recognise this one. It's Lion Brand Ice Cream uh, Creme Glacé. And it's acrylic, 100% acrylic. And it's 100 yards, is it? 100 yards, I mean 100 metres. 100 grams, I should say. It usually tells you the yardage on it somewhere. Yeah. Well, here we go. 394 yards, and it's 100 grams. So that's what it is. It's ice cream, cream glacé. Reminds me of raspberries when you swirl them into ice cream or cream. Like a raspberry swirl. So it may, it's American kind of thing because it's lion brown yarn, but everything's written in French. <laughs> Just to make things awkward. Right, we're down to the last two now. Oh, this one's again a uh, creme glacé. Another lion brand. This one feels quite chunky actually, this one. Um, it says it's a three, but it looks awful thick for me. For a three, it looks more like a five. Or a very, very thick four. Don't know what needles they recommend either. As usual, I don't have my glasses on. As usual, as usual. Um, it's got 394 yards on it, and it's 100 grams. I wouldn't call it light number three. No way. It's very chunky. Can you see it? Very, very chunky. On to the last one. I think I've done quite well for my £7.50 plus postage. And the last one is another ice cream, creme glacé. Now this one is a three. Yeah, this one says three and it is a three. As you can see that's much finer. I mean, if you look at the other one, there's no way that both of those are a three. Yeah? That's definitely not a three. But this one, yes, it could be. And again, it's 100 yards. 390, no, 100 reaches 394 yards. The other one won't have that on it. I think that's got the wrong label on that. There's no way there's 394 yards on that one. I'll have to just make a hat with it and hope for the best. Yay! Throw them back in the box. Kelly, there's another box that's going in the craft room. Ooh, 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 ooh. Not for long though, because I aim to make up the hats and things with it. So I hope you've liked my change <laughs> of a video today, because there's not been much, uh, much crocheting done in this household this week. What with having the animals and different things like that. Gigi will be back tomorrow on Friday. Um, so I won't be having my Friday off as usual. I've had my Wednesday off instead. So luckily I'd got, uh, I've got waited my cup of coffee before the water. Well, the water had gone off, but luckily there was water in the kettle. So we'll see how long that is. And then my son said he thinks the gas board are starting up again on my side of the road. So that should be fun. Not. It's been chaos. Absolute chaos. My street is so narrow, it was never designed for anything more than one car going up and down it at the same time, you know. So you can imagine great big wagons coming through and cars being parked outside of people's houses. Because half of them don't have the drive, so if they have a drive they don't use it for some unknown reason. Which always, you know, perplexes me. I'm thinking, you have a driveway, why don't you use it? I know somebody suggested that I hired my drive out, but... I need the, the access, you know, when I go out on my scooter. If anybody's on the driveway, I can't get my scooter out because the garage doors are open outwards. And also I get friends who arrive at random times. Like I'm a son around and they want to pull in the driveway. So um, they wouldn't be able to do that, obviously, if there was somebody's car parked in there. So we'll see how we go, yeah. I'm still working on the, um, you know, the blueprint designs for the sweaters and that. Quite a few people have mentioned uh, Jeannie, you know, on the hook. And I must admit, when her videos first came out, I was one of the ones who promoted her to the hilt. Because I thought, at last, there's a lady who thinks the way that I do. You know, because you know me, if you've watched me for years, you'll know how many times I say, 
don't ask me for the pattern because it's in my head yeah um so what i'm going to do is i'm not going to show you patterns and I, I won't be selling you patterns probably not um i'll just be showing you how i think and how i design so chicken and egg <laughs> i won't say that genie copies me and i wouldn't like wouldn't like you to think that i was copying genie because we were both obviously crochet in the same way and there's probably loads of other people you know my kind of generation genie's generation uh oh nearly not the mannequin over there they're crochet in the same way because don't forget when i started crochet there wasn't many patterns so you had to do your own way or forget it you know so i won't go into the complex way that i used to design using paper patterns and things like that i'll try to scale it down to something that's easier for you to think and follow. As I say, we, we design very much in the same way, do Jeannie and I, um, but you know, as I say, I was doing that way for years and years and years, but as Jeannie didn't know me, I know she didn't copy me and I didn't copy her. It's just the way things evolve, isn't it? We're just on the same plane of thought. <laughs> yes, when she first came out and I saw her first videos, I thought, wow, there's a lady who understands the way I crochet. Because before when I've tried to explain it to people, people have been going, oh, I don't understand. What do you mean you do a swatch and you work it out how many chain you need? What do you mean? I don't understand. And um, so I was so glad when she was explaining things because I thought, ah, she's just like me. Mm. And she's definitely younger than me, so we're not the same generation. <laughs> but we have the same thought waves, obviously. Right, I'm going to go now, finish my coffee, and decide where I'm going to put all this extra yarn. Don't tell Kelly! <laughs> I don't know where she is today, she's probably... She said she was tidying up the front room. Kelly tidies up her front room and moves the furniture around so many times, more often than I do laundry. And, uh, and I do laundry a lot. <laughs> Uh, I don't put the laundry away, that's another tale, but I do do the laundry. If there's any clothes dangling around in my house, they're washed and they're clean, they just haven't been put away. You know, I don't want you to think I'm living in a pile of dirty laundry, because I'm, no, I'm not. Right, I'm going to go now and try and do a bit more on the, the uh, rainbow sh uh, scarf I'm doing. Because I'm dying to start something different, but you know me, I'm a one project woman. And I like to get something out of the way before I start something else. It's very frustrating at times when I'm not finishing off the things I'm making quick enough. But that's something I've got to live with, isn't it? So, bye for now. And I'm not expecting any more yarn this week. So, you may not see me again until Saturday. But you never know. Watch this space. Don't forget to tick the bell or whatever it is so you get notified when I put a new video up and bye for now enjoy your crocheting, your knitting, whatever kind of crafting you do bye for now